Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Cancer? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's get into your reading and see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of February 2021. Uh, once we're done with the tarot cards, we will be pulling out some oracle cards to see what Spirit is trying to communicate, okay? So let's get into your reading. Now, your first card here is the Empress card. So the Empress card is all about abundance, but this is also speaking about tapping into your creative energy. This is all to do with creativity. This is um, birthing life or birthing some type of new beginning, some new project, anything that is really going to propel you. Um, and I feel that this is speaking directly about those of you guys that are currently uh, focus on achieving certain type of goals or aspirations that you're trying to do here. Uh, the Empress, again, it is about knowing your power. It's about really honing into that energy or your power in order to manifest what you're trying to bring into your life. A lot of abundance around you, Cancer, for the month of February. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So again, a lot of financial uh, growth here for you guys. For those of you guys that have been struggling or having difficulty in regards to your finances, I feel that February is going to be a very uh, abundant month for you. There's going to be a lot of opportunities unfolding that are going to lead you. Like I said, they're going to propel you into breaking certain obstacles or overcoming certain obstacles that have currently blocked your creativity or blocked the way you would make uh, money. So this could be for those of you guys that are entrepreneurs, those of you guys that have recently started a business, or perhaps you've been working on a business for quite a while and just haven't really seen the fruits of your labor. That's quickly going to be changing for the month of February. However, they are telling me here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress card, try the best you can to remain optimistic and positive. Do not, dis uh, do not uh, distract yourself with... Uh, there may be some family member, friends, uh, people coming, uh, people that you deal with on everyday basis um, that may have other issues going on in their life and you they may need you to be there uh, either as a support system or uh, I, I, I see you like giving advice, but I feel that some some of you may have to deal with the situation where uh, this is a friend or a relative, someone that is around you. Uh, that could have a tendency of being very like, I don't want to say dramatic, but they like, you know, those people that constantly have issues or things, drama going on in their life. What they're telling you is keep away from that type of energy because I feel that it may actually distract you. And what they're telling you here for this month of February, it's going to be crucial and important to maintain your focus in regards to something that you're trying to manifest, something something that you're trying to bring towards you, some type of uh, some type of physical in the physical nature, being able to see the manifestation of your hard work. So again, try the best you can to keep yourself away from distractions. Now you also have here the eight of wands. Eight of wands is very quick movement. Uh, this is talking about, you know, like I said, in the past, there were could have been a situation where you kind of felt restricted or you felt like things were just not unfolding as quickly as you would want. For some of you guys, it could be a feeling of almost like a everyday type of routine and there's not many changes that you can physically see. What they're telling you is that there's things that are unfolding behind the scenes and you're going to uh, go into the month of February experiencing more movement, more momentum. Again, those of you guys that do have a business or some type of um, entrepreneurship, what they're saying here is that not only is uh, financial stability coming through for you, but it's going to feel like the more you're capable of making or the more money that starts to come in, there is also a bit of feeling like you don't have enough time. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, this is very quick movement. So again, it could be, you know, sales start to uh, go really high for you. For others of you, if you're into any type of sales, uh, real estate, anything like that, uh, you're going to be having a very good month is basically what they're saying. But also time management is going to be very important for you guys because I feel you guys being very, very busy. 
Now you also have here the King of Pentacles here. So again, I feel that for a lot of you guys, there's a lot of financial stability coming in. We have the Ace of Cups. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Earth energy or Libra type of energy. Earth would be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For others of you, you may be dealing with the Libra type of energy. I also see fire here, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, um, Leo type of energy. Now we have the five of coins here. I feel that for some of you guys, there is some type of connection um, that there is, you could have been experiencing no communication. However, for the month of February, that's quickly going to be changing. We have the Ace of Cups, so there is a love um, communication or some type of love offering coming through for you. Could have been a situation where a person either kind of blocked you, pulled away, uh, ghosted you, uh, no longer communicated that type of energy, but I see them really looking at you. This could be the uh, this could be them looking at you through social medias. I see them like in the shadows, uh, not really wanting to come forth yet. However, I do see them communicating for the month of February. Now we do have here the Eight of Swords with the Page of Swords. So if this is a uh, inconsistent type of energy, someone you've been dealing with for quite a while. They tried to come back around and try to communicate with you for the month of February. It's going to be very important for you to keep um, keep yourself centered, uh, Cancer. Don't try to run off with, you know, illusions or anything that has to do with like hopefulness in regards to this connection, because what they're telling you is they're still coming in with inconsistency. Um, what they're really wanting to tell you here is that for the month of February, it's going to be very important for you to maintain your grounding. Uh, so again, no escapism, no running away from issues that you don't want to deal with for the month of February. As well, it's going to be very important for you uh, to keep yourself centered, like I said, and keep yourself focused. What they're telling me here is anything that has to do with inconsistencies, it's going to be very important for you not to allow them to, distra uh, to distract you. And this could be in regards to, again, you start to do really good in business or finances, and then you start getting into your feelings here, uh, not having a lot of clear indication of what this person's intentions are or if they're uh, here to stay or not. So what they're telling you is anything that is not giving you some type of consistency or stability, try the best you can to not allow it to get the best of you. Why? Because I see you guys really going forward in a very positive aspect in regards to your finances. You don't want to let those opportunities pass you by because you're tied up down here emotionally, okay? So it's going to be very important for you, again, like I said, to keep your focus. Don't get distracted, especially with people that are very inconsistent. Now, your spirit's messages here is the first card we have, community. So again, I feel that for the month of February, you guys are going to be somewhat challenged in regards to the people around you feeling like you need to emotionally support them or feel like you have to be there for them. That's fine. Of course, we can always do that. I mean, that's what friendships are for. But if you feel like they're kind of eating at your energy, try the best you can to put your foot down and little by little create some type of distance. It is important and crucial for you to maintain your focus for the month of February. Now, your next card here is patience. So being patient in regards to your career, in regards to your finances, I feel that for a lot of you guys here with the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, uh, it, it signifies really putting the effort or you have been putting the effort in regards to finding your financial stability or some type of growth, some type of uh, being able to stand on your own to feed is what they're saying here. Do not feel like you're not going to be able to accomplish that. Uh, don't get so much in your head. It's going to be very important, again, to surrender to this process. Things are unfolding. Uh, you also have here forgiveness. So again, I feel very highly for a lot of you guys uh, for this month of February. You're going to be dealing with a lot of family or relatives. This could be if you're in a committed relationship. This can also indicate dealing with connections from family on their side. Um Things, relationships or friendships that have been hindered in some way, uh, that could be the reason why they're saying that there is, you know, friends that are going to be needing some type of emotional support. Um, so I feel that there's healing that's happening for some of you guys in regards to family dynamics. However, uh, be very cautious to not 
allow yourself to be dragged into drama or anything that is of that nature because what they're telling you is they're trying to propel you uh, to really raise your vibration and to focus on what it is that you're wanting to call in as you have the major potential here to manifest that, but it's going to take focus and determination, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I wish you guys the very best. Happy Valentine's Day for all of you out there, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.